Hello and welcome to Common Sense TV. I'm your host, the Doctor of Common Sense. So, I got a couple of questions I'd like to present to you, if it's okay with you. Um, as your anchor man, I want you to think about these things. Do you think that any Democrat or Republican can beat Donald Trump in a fair election? Well, we have seen in the case of Meghan McCain and Asa Hutchinson a bit of a rhino stampede toward President Trump because we see how unprecedented these actions are. But speaking directly to Tim Scott, we should wait and hear all this out and wait and see how it goes. That's exactly what the weak Republicans were saying during the Mueller investigation. Like I feel Dude, I'm saying in a fair election, when we have real votes, no dead people voting, in a fair election, do you think any Republican or Democrat can beat Donald Trump in an election? Now, the only person that I say would actually give him a run for his money, but they're not going to run at the same time, is DeSantos. But let's take DeSantos out. The reason that these folks are so damn scared of Donald Trump is that they know they cannot win. Hell, they know they didn't win in 2000. Democrats, like New York's radical Attorney General Letitia James, campaigned on suing President Trump. <laughs> What is fueling my soul right now is Trump. <laughs> we're be real Illegitimate witch hunts, lies. Democrats do not have solutions. It's time to save America. Visit DonaldJTrump.com or text JOIN to 88022. Save America is responsible for the content of this advertising. But my question is, what is the GOP going to do about it? Because I'm not talking about talking. I'm saying doing about it. Oh, it sounds good for sound bites, sound bites. And when you're trying to campaign to raise money, telling everybody what you're going to do when you get in there in 2024. No, no, I'm not talking about 2024 or 2022 midterms is coming up. I'm talking about what are you going to do right now? You're in office right now because whenever the Democrats are not even holding the House, Senate, or the presidency, they can impeach the president. They can ignore the Constitution. But when the Republicans in there, all they talk about is re-electing them again. Now, what you going to do right now? Because if I saw Lindsey Graham uh, on one of these shows talking about how outraged he was, and he said, if you want to stop this, what you need to do is fire these people and elect to raid President Trump's home 90 days before an election. Yeah, you know, and I love having you on, Lindsay. You know, you and I have debated about things, and I've seen you pretty spitting mad over Ukraine. But I, you, you don't seem as mad as you were about this, than you've been <laughs> mad about Ukraine. I don't understand why people aren't lighting their hair on fire. I don't understand why people aren't well, out what? in the streets. Yeah. This isn't like, oh, well, you know, let's just see what's yeah. in the warrant. I mean, they've been doing this. This yeah. is the third election. This is the third election. We know they well, dock their evidence. We know they yeah. plant evidence. Yeah. Sure. We know they hide yeah. evidence. We know they lie. We know they leak. I mean, this is not anything new. This has been this has been years they've been doing this. We can't just say, oh, yeah. you know, we're waiting for the guy to come out and, and give a statement about what is predicate. I mean, what? These people are out of control, Senator. This country yeah. is at, at like, well, we're on the edge of a cliff, man. I'm telling you, this country is at the edge yeah. of a cliff here. Yeah, no, I got you. I understand exactly what you're saying, but I want to come on your show and tell you things that I know are not going to happen. I can't make them stop. I can urge them and stop the process of normal business in the Senate until we know more. We're going to have an election in November. You want to stop these people? Fire them. If you want to get a... How long you been in office, Lindsey Graham, Catman, Nuthuggers? See... If it's obvious that Lindsey Graham is not going to bust a grape in a fruit fight, don't forget that Lindsey Graham was saying that God had not made a finer man than Joe Biden. The bottom line is, if you can't admire Joe Biden as a person, then it's probably you got a problem. <laughs> you need to do some self-evaluation. Because what's not to like? Here's what I can tell you. That life can change just like that. He's the nicest person I think I've ever met in politics. Is that right? He is as good a man as God ever created. And we don't agree on much. But I think he's uh, been dealt a really gut blow. That's his word. When he said it was a lie, and it's still a lie today, how can you fix your mouth to say, he said, what, what, what's his not to like about Joe Biden? I mean, it's, it's nothing not to like. What is it to like about Joe Biden? You've seen the most corrupt, 
government in the history of this country. And you expect me to believe that Lindsey Graham and the Republicans are going to do something about it. They're not going to do a damn thing about it because they won't even speak boldly right now. You have to have facts and truth on your side in order to be able. And then you got to be willing to do something with it. Because if you have the power to do something with it and you don't do nothing with it, it means that you are not really, you shouldn't be really in the office, technically speaking, right? But you could get a copy of this. I forgot to mention. Did I mention this? Get a copy of this book. Guaranteed Freedom, Victory, and Success through the Lord Jesus Christ. Facts. Facts. It teaches you how to, to stop going along with what the media and everybody else say. Just do your damn job. You were elected to do your job. I don't want to hear about the next time I hire you. I've hired you right now to do the job, and you're not doing your job. But I, I saw where the former president, Donald Trump, technically still current president, Donald Trump, he was. Uh, he says that the FBI told them nobody could stay in there while they were rampaging through his property, not even his lawyer. So what this tells me is that they wanted everybody out so they can plant information. How is that search warrant even rele relevant now? Can you really trust an FBI who's lied about Pfizer warrants, lied about January the 6th, lied about Russian collusion, and you want me to let you search my property so you can plant something on me and later on say you found something. Whatever they found to me should be thrown out. Since we don't know if you actually took it from there anyway. Because according to the former president, Donald J. Trump, nobody was allowed to stay in there while they went through all of his property and his personal safe. For all we know, you could have planted some. It won't be the first time that a dirty cop planted some on somebody, would it? So I'm not going to trust anything that comes out of there now. Now, I didn't know that you didn't allow anybody to stay in there. For all we know, you planted information because you are the filthy scum of the earth. The FBI is the most corrupt organization in the history of the world. I'm going to keep saying it. But what is the GOP going to do about it? I heard that this Scott Perry got his phone taken to by the FBI after this raid. They're not finished because there's no consequences. Now, Hunter Biden's laptop, they say, Christopher Ray said he don't know where it's at really. He don't know if he's got it, but he's investigating, but he can't tell you if he actually got it. All this information on Hunter Biden, that one single investigation did not invade Hunter Biden's uh, facility, did not invade Joe Biden or Hillary Clinton. When she didn't give up the emails, you allowed her to destroy e uh, the emails. She mishandled classified information, and you still did not raid her. Not one single thing happened to her. They never raided anybody. This ain't about justice. You can't be this damn stupid. You can't. 